Hi everyone, this is Ajay. In this video, we are going to see how to install MicroPython in ESP8266 uh, Node MCU. And uh, in my previous uh, video, um, I've uh, post, uh, posted a video on ESP8266 where I have used um, uh, Python codes to uh, establish a connection with the internet and um, uh, reading uh, GP GPAs of ESP, reading and writing GPAs of ESP module, and then. Um, to change the frequencies of uh, the uh, oscillator frequency of uh, ESP8266. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to just show how to install MicroPython, and uh, this will help you to get started. So, let's uh, proceed. So, first, you will need to install Python if you don't have a uh, Python. I'm using Windows system, and if you don't have a uh, Python installed in Windows, uh, go to this uh, site, uh, python.org. And you can download uh, the latest Python uh, that is the 3.7.4 is available, and you can download it and then you can install this. And then you will need to install a pip package uh, that is available in this uh, site and uh, the same Python site. And um, it is like when you can get download uh, get hyphen pip.py and then um, use Python um, uh, to execute this and then. Um, like this use this command uh, to run this and then pip will get installed um, or you can follow the methods uh, set here and then you will need uh, one more file that is in micropython.org website uh, you will have many board selection where you will select ESP8266 and uh, here you can see the following files, uh, files are stable for, for ESP8266 uh, program your board using ESP tool. Right. Uh, this is the method we are going to use so you can just click and download this file like this and if you click your file gets downloaded and now uh, these are the requirement uh, then once it is done what you will have to do is assuming you have installed pip, python pip and uh, downloaded this file let's get it to command prompt now what we will have to do is type pip install ESP tool. So what happens is now it will try to install this ESP tool uh, dot pi which I uh, discussed here and uh, I have already installed it and so this uh, says a requirement already satisfied if you don't have it installed it will install this uh, into the default python directory and you, uh, you can see that the uh, directory shows this uh, python lib uh, site packages and then once it is done you will have to get into the uh, directory where this file is there that is here we have this bin file so what you will have to do is just change this file test esp a2 double six now in properties you can go check and there is a bin file dot bin file and now what you will have to do is get into the directory that is this particular directory that is um, c user uh, your username and then um, downloads or your downloads path that is cd downloads now we can see the list of files which is downloaded here and it shows uh, test underscore esp to uh, double and double six dot bin now what we allowed to do is run esp2 we have a command here i will show you the command that is this command that is esp tool you don't need to uh, type dot py esp tool um, double hyphen chip ESP8266 is flash to erase the flash memory of the device. So see to that your device is connected, and then you can uh, while executing this code, uh, running this code, what you will have to do is press hold the flash button on ESP8266 uh, Node MC board, uh, then uh, run this command. So it does not detect the serial code. So 
to check whether this uh, serial port is available or not you can just check device manager so now i have not connected my device now i'm going to connect my device now you can see com port we have uh, cp210x usb to your bridge that is com3 this is what is my device and then i'm going to close it i know this is a, uh, this is connected to com3 now let me hold flash button and execute the same command while erasing flash you can just leave uh, release the flash uh, button until that you have to hold and you can see that uh, it has completed erasing the flash memory and next we have another command which has to be executed to uh, write uh, the firmware to the board that is this command so again this bin file has been changed here it's uh, in download uh, download so i'm going to change this to test esp test hyphen esp a266 and i would i love to change this com port you will have to cha change the com port where your device is connected minus com3 so i uh, change this and then here i don't need to use esp tool.py you can directly use esp tool and then enter and then again press hold the flash button and then run this command now you can release it while writing and you can see your board flashing there will be an indication with the blue led So now it's uploading. It's almost eighty-eight percent, ninety-two percent complete. Once it is done, it says the data has been uh, uh, the um, uh, firmware has been uh, uploaded. Now what we have to do is let's check whether uh, Python is installed in um, ESP two double six. For that, what we have to do is open any terminal software. I have Teraterm here. So select serial and uh, select the com port and then click ok and then click reset and you, you can see not, nothing comes it's just copy so you'll have to change this serial port settings that is 1,15,200 and then you can click on clear screen and you can see now it's a python uh, you can see the three arrow marks here now python is ready now we can start doing something like this that is a plus b a is uh, a, i'm assigning some value a b equal to 10 now a plus b is 20 so now machine dot frequency so it says that it is 80 megahertz you can change machine frequency for this you can see my uh, previous video watch my previous video where i uh, said many things um, or like oh, how to work with esp um, a266 and uh, micro python and um, you can try this i will give you all these commands and um, the links which will be uh, useful for this particular uh, setup in my video description and uh, this is what I wanted to tell you in this video. We will meet in another video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.